Hi, this is Mike with Super Swivels. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to rebuild one of our swivels. The swivel we're going to do today is one of our standard Aflas swivels. Now this is a 90 degree fitting, as you can see. comes with a greaser. Most of our 90 degree fittings do. First thing we're going to want to do, put on a pair of safety glasses. And we can remove this zerk. Now at this point, what we're going to want to do to liquefy some of the grease that's in there is soak this fitting in solvent. This one has already been done. So what we'll do is just hold it upside down and turn the fitting and try to pull it apart. Now if it won't come apart, one of the tricks we like to use is just an air nozzle and we'll blow across that hole. And the, the balls will come flying out of there, so that's where the, that's where the safety glasses come into play. Okay, we'll continue to pull it apart. There. Now all of these seals are garbage. The seal kit comes with new ones. So at this point we just want to get them all off here. Now all of this, the seals, the balls that came out, that's all garbage. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Give yourself a nice clean area to work from. And you want to inspect this groove, inspect this groove, take a look on the inside of the body of the swivel, make sure it's nice and smooth, it's not pitted, there's no grooves worn or anything like that. Assuming that's okay, at this point we're ready for our seal kit. And this shows the size, shows the kind of seals we're dealing with. If you flip it over, it'll you can see all your seals, um, a bolt, a washer, a zerk, and some balls. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this open. Just dump everything right out of my towel here. Well, this is our instruction sheet. Let's open this up for you. This has a little diagram of all the seals and how they go on and a brief description here of, of how they go on. It's pretty informative. Maybe you definitely want to give that a read through before you try to rebuild it. So, we're ready to put the seals on. The first one we want to deal with is this little brown skinny, skinny seal. It goes down here into this groove. You don't have to be afraid about stretching it out. You just stretch it out down into that groove with your screwdriver. Next, we're ready for our backups. Well, these backups have a split to them. You want to make sure that they they sit inside that groove like that. You don't want to, you want to make sure they're not overlapped. So what I like to do is put them on just like that and just make sure that they're not that it's not overlapped. Then we're ready for our pressure seal. And this one's tricky. You want to make sure that it's not twisted. So what I'll do is run my screwdriver around it like so, back and forth. Make sure it's not twisted. If it's twisted, your swivel's going to leak, and that's not what we want. Now we're ready for our, for our other backup. This is the white one. It has the same, the same split in it, and you want to make sure that it's fitting together like that and not like that once you get it into that groove. Like so. Now we're ready to put everything back together. I'm just going to brush these seals with a little molly grease. Slide the stem back into the body. Now all the balls that came in the seal kit are going to go right back into this to this hole here. So I'll drop them in. As I'm dropping it in, I'll turn this stem so the balls fall into the groove like we want. Every seal kit is going to come with the right amount of balls. So you don't have to worry about counting them or anything like that. You might see a small gap in between the balls once you get them all in there. That's completely normal. There. Now we have it full of balls. Now this is a 90 degree swivel, as you can, as you can see. 
Most of the 90 degree swivels we sell are going to come with a grease irk. So, install the grease irk like so. And we're going to tighten it up so the hex on the grease irk is flush with the body of the swivel. That's important. Like so. Now at this point it's ready for grease. But we want to be very careful not to over grease this fitting. If you over grease it you can damage the seals and pretty much destroy the work you've just done. So put it on here and give it about an eighth of a pump of grease. You don't need any more than that. There. Now the end of our greaser has a little check ball. Once you have grease in it you can just press it with your screwdriver or a paper clip or, or anything you might have. It will release any excess pressure. Make sure that it turns. You got yourself a brand new fitting. Thanks for watching.